Good morning, church. Happy Easter Monday. I hope that your resurrection celebration was special and meaningful, even if you weren't able to have too many people around you for it. But we're reminded, like Paul, he says, I'm never alone. God has never abandoned me, even when there's no one else around me. And sometimes that's the promise that we have to lean on. So I would encourage you to lean on that promise no matter where you are right now and no matter how you might be feeling right now. And that, that brings us into our daily devotion for today. Paul is encouraging us to apply a test to our lives. Now, some of us out there, we might get a little test anxiety when it comes to these kinds of things, but I want us to hear Paul's words in 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. 2 Corinthians 13, verse 5 says this, says Paul to the Corinthians, test yourselves to see if you are in the faith. Examine yourselves, or do you yourselves not recognize that Jesus Christ is in you unless you fail the test? And I am uh, curious, I would, I would have loved for him to have expounded upon what he meant by test yourselves. What is the test? What is the litmus that we need to be applying to our lives? And I had a couple thoughts that I would love to share with you today. And of course, if there's something that you desire to share in this matter, please make a comment, send an email, get in touch with me somehow or, or anybody at our church, and we'd be happy to talk with you about what it means to follow after Christ and this test and thinking about this is especially important right on the heels of Easter because at Easter we hit the core foundation of our faith, the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, dying for our sins, rising again on the third day, and we confess him as Lord with our mouth and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead. If we don't do those things, we instantly fail the test. So that is the first litmus test that we have to apply into our Christian lives. Do I confess Jesus as Lord? Do I believe in my heart that he was raised from the dead and is seated at the right hand of the Father? If I don't believe that, I'm not a Christian. It's that simple. The second test that you need to apply into your life is that of obedience. Jesus says, why do you call me Lord, Lord, but don't do the things I say? It's no use confessing Jesus as Lord if we don't then proceed to obey him. So that is the second litmus test that we have in our lives is, do I know the commands of Christ? And then do I follow them? If I don't follow them, he is not my Lord, and we're back to where we started in the first place. And then the third litmus test is, is there fruit in my life? Is there evidence to others that I follow after Christ? If I were on trial for my faith, would there be enough evidence surrounding to convict me of the Christianity that I claim to have? So as you go out today, this week, apply those tests to your life. Do you confess him as your Lord? Do you believe in the resurrection? Do you obey the commands that Jesus gave you as Lord? And is there evidence available to others for this faith that you claim? I would encourage you on the heels of Easter to examine yourself, trust in the Lord, and know that he is with you always. And as always, may you be richly blessed as you go about the work of our Lord and Savior today, this week, and always. In Jesus' name, may we always be together. Amen.